Hey everybody, it's Gloria and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about the washer that we now have, washer and spinner. We used to have a panda spin dryer which worked fantastic. I'll have the link above to that, vi that video which also has links to the product. Uh, but we actually donated it to somebody who needed it a little bit more than we did at the time. But now we have this one and it's a VCJ portable washing machine. And looks like it's 129 when we bought it, but now it might be on sale for about 98 on Amazon and the links are below. You have the washer on one side, the spinner on the other, and around, let's see, at the top you have the knobs for the timer for the washing, the settings, and the time for the spinner. So the timers are 15 minutes for the washing and rinsing and five minutes for the spinning. So here's a better shot of those. So wash timer up to 15. There's a normal soft or oh, soft setting and it has a plug. You can plug it. I plugged it into the camper this time. I would rec recommend putting it into a, a regular like your pedestal or an outlet. Um, so that's the knobs across the top. It's pretty simple. There's a spot there where with a hose that you can fill the water from a spigot, whether it's in your sink or in your tub. Uh, I actually just use a hose because we're normally outside my camper is too small so i'm going to go ahead and fill it i already have a little bit of detergent in there and there is a hole near the top in the upper right corner kind of for overfill I want to try and keep the water about an inch or so below that so i've gone ahead and filled it added the soap added some clothes i'm going to use the 15 minutes on this um, it's not a super hard spinner, you know, it doesn't go real fast, so I like to give it a little more time. And uh, I'm going to use a normal setting. There's a soft setting for like, you know, I don't know, your bras or whatever. Um, and then there's the spin timer, and that goes for five minutes. I usually use the five minutes every time, just to make sure everything gets out. All right, so everything is loaded, the water's filled, the soap is in, and I'm gonna let this run for the full 15 minutes to make sure we get as much dirt and sand out as we can. It just finished the 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drain that out. Uh, and you'll see here, I'm gonna use buckets because I don't wash, do this inside in the camper because I don't have room in an R-Pod, but I'm gonna go ahead, dump it into two buckets because I, you know, since I fill it up pretty high and I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, I was doing this alone, so it's gonna take me a second there. But because I use castle soap and natural soap, I go ahead and fill the buckets and then dump it out in the woods or off to the side away from the campsite. And there's that hose, you're gonna take it off and I'll set it in the buckets if you're in an apartment in your house or outside where you don't have to set this up off the ground. You can just go ahead and let it run out onto the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead, hose is in the bucket and turn it to drain. So as you can see, it comes out pretty fast uh, the water is sandy for sure. It's also a little bit white from the castle soap, but it dumps out pretty quickly. Like I said, I'm gonna use a second bucket, but I'm gonna go ahead, continue to drain. When you need to, in between, if you do it like I do, go ahead and flip it from drain back to normal and that'll stop it. And you wanna go ahead and lift the tube out before you move on to either the next bucket or if you need to, um, if it's all done. So now we're gonna do the rinse and you're gonna fill your, you're gonna fill the tub the same way and put everything, you know, just water. If you want a little fabric softener, go for it. I actually normally rinse at the 15 minutes as well, just to make sure all the soap is out, but also any sand or any dirt, whatever, that might be left behind. So we go ahead and I'm gonna turn that on in a moment. And we're going to go ahead and let that rinse and let it run for 15 minutes. And hopefully it's a really nice day outside. Now make sure you go ahead and put that hose back on while you're rinsing. And you're going to make sure that that drain knob is switched back to normal. And like I said, hopefully it's a really nice day. You can just kind of hang outside while this is going. I'm going to go dump the bucket.
Now we're gonna go ahead and drain the rinse water out. We're gonna do it the same way we did the other one, whether you put it into buckets like I do, or take it into a tub or a drain. So when you're done, you're gonna go ahead and flip it back from drain to normal so you can move on to the spinning process. So I went ahead and I loaded some laundry into the spinner side. You wanna keep it maybe an inch or so from the top. You don't wanna go full to the top, but about an inch or so from the top. And this thing's gonna work really well. So I normally use the five minutes for everything. Uh, on the knob, you wanna make sure you keep it on normal, not on drain. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use the five minutes and I'll go ahead and get it started. It gets a little wonky at first, but it'll settle down within a few seconds and it's really not that loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that run. All right, the spin is done. I'm gonna go ahead and drain that water out too. There's just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. And you can put the hose out and it'll start draining a little bit, but once you flip it to drain, the rest will come out. And as it slows down, if you need to, you can even lift the washer up a little bit to give it a little more momentum for that extra water to come out. Um, but this, they're not gonna see too much water coming out from those, but it definitely gets a lot of water out. All right, so we're done spinning and you can see, it's hard to tell obviously because this is a video, but the clothes, the socks are super dry. So if I hung them outside, it would probably take about 20 minutes to dry. Inside, it'll take a little bit longer, but it really worked really well. I highly recommend this unit. Uh, it's about 14 inches deep, 22 inches wide, and 23 inches high. So it's not too big, um, but if you're, in, if you're in a van, it might be a little bit too much but it's up to you, but you can take a look and see if it'll fit. But there are links below to the unit. And if you prefer looking at that Panda spin dryer, like I said, there's another video or you can go to that link below. I'll add that in too. And you can see there's a lot of dirt that this thing takes out. There's sand and <laughs> dirt at the bottom. And I always, want, like I said, I wash things on the 15 minutes just to make sure we pull that extra stuff out because we're outside all the time but I'll wipe it down, I'll rinse it off before I move on. But I highly recommend this. This thing works really great, doesn't take up a lot of room, and it's not very loud. So hopefully this helps you decide if this is something that's for you. Uh, like I said, there'll be the links below. Please, I appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. I'm gonna try and put more videos out like this and more of our travels because we're about to move on to the next park.